Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you some calculated tricks such as how to clear your memory, how to store values and how to use your calculator efficiently. So what I'm using is a Casio FX82ES. It's quite old but it's your standard scientific calculator. I've had it for about 15 years and it's, uh, it's never let me down. So let's start by turning it on. And the first thing I want to show you is how to clear your memory. Now when I talk about memory, you'll see if I press shift and I press clear, it'll ask me what I want to clear exactly. And I'll choose option two. So option two and then I press equals. So option two is your memory. And what your memory is, is it's essentially stored value. So you can see in these letters in red, A, B, C, D, X, Y, M, these are letters which you can store values on. So for example, if I've got an interest rate of 10% and I want to calculate my V, which I will do as follows. So that's V using an interest rate of 10%. If I want to store this, I will press shift. I will press store. And then I'll choose a letter, for example, A, and then it's telling me your answer of 0 0.9 will be stored as A and I'll press equals to. Now, if I hit AC and I bring up the letter A by pressing alpha, then A equals, that is my stored value. Now, if we clear our memory again, shift clear to equals, and I look up the value A again, I will see that it's equal to zero. So clearing my memory cleared out that value. Now you would have noticed how I typed in V. So for most people, they would set up uh, an equation like this, one over one plus I, and they would use 10% shift, and then they'd find the percent icon, and that's how they would write their V. Now this takes a lot of time, and you should really learn how to show your percentages as decimals. So you should learn it like that. So 10% is 0 0.1 and 6% for example is 0 0.06. So when you're typing out your V, you can jump straight to this. You can hit this inverse button over here and equals to, and then now you've got your V at 6%. So maybe I want to store this as B. Now, using stored values on your calculator is far more efficient than typing it out each time. It obviously saves you time, but your calculator handles stored values much better and much faster, especially with these older calculators. So that's it. That's how to clear your memory and that's how to store a value.